Okay, generics. All right, there's going to be two keywords that we're going to use in order to do generics in um, in Zig or whatever right here, right? We're going to use this comp time keyword right here, which um, blocks of code may forcibly be executed at compile time using comp time. Uh, this example so okay, right? So basically, you can declare the type at comp time, and then there's also going to be the uh, where's the other one? Okay, the any type keyword. Okay, we're gonna get into some examples here, right? Any type function perimeter and struct fields can be declared at any type in place of a type. The type will be inferred where the function is called or the struct is instantiated. Okay, let's do let's do an example real quick, right? Uh, you know, if you go on the Zig Learn page, they've got plenty of them here. Okay, yeah, Zig Learn, yeah, Zig Learn dot org got got plenty of them here okay if I don't cover something that uh, you want okay so let's let's check this out okay all right let's do it like we're used to it const std equals and I'm gonna stop doing this I'm just gonna put this up because I've done this in, no, no no you know what new people are gonna come in and just watch one video and uh, you need to see this okay um, uh, main okay alright alright first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, let's do an add function right okay so public gen add and then we're gonna put comp time t equals type and then we'll put um, a, a uh, let's just call this T alright and we'll call this T we'll call it B T okay and we'll return the T right Okay, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. Return a. How happened? Why my A key ain't working? Okay, technical difficulties. All right, A plus B, right? Okay, so let's put it on here. Const n equals add, and then. In this one, you have to put the, um, you know, we're going to put an I32. We have to declare what it is, but this is going to be declared at compile time. Uh, okay, so we'll put, um, put 5 and 6. All right, so std, debug, print. Okay, and. And then we put that dot, then n right here, right? All right, so this should return 11, right? Okay, zig run generics video. Oh, I didn't put a, I didn't separate this with the colon. It's a little bloopers here today. Yeah, it's morning time. So let me wake up and get me a video in. Okay. I forgot void here. Okay, there we go. So we got 11 there, okay? All right, so another thing we can do, because um, 
like I said, this, you, know, you know, sometimes you don't want to declare this variable right here. Or declare exactly what it is, right? Because you don't know what it's going to be, right? So, here we can, uh, we can take this out, all right? You know what? Let, let me not do that. Let me do, not do that because there's something else I wanted to show you. Okay. All right. And, we, and, and you know what? Another cool thing we can do is based on the type because we're declaring the type here we can make um, we can make uh, we can we can have different outcomes in a function so let me show you what I mean okay so f t which is this type right here right equal equal i32 if it's an i32 we can return A plus B plus two, right? But if T is equal to a U thirty two, which is unsigned integer, we put A plus B plus two. So you can have two different outcomes based on the type, right? Red, retuner. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's going to be 11 because it's the I32. So let's change it to U32, so we can see what happens here. Okay, 13. You can see you get two different outcomes based on the type, right? Now. You can also, um, all right, now th this is going to be for the comp time keyword right here, right? There's, gonna be, there's definitely going to be an amendment to this video, all right? Because there's much more, there's more you can do with this. But I just wanted to cover generics for, like, people that are coming from us. How do you do generics? Okay. All right, so we can also use something called any type. Okay, this is a type. Uh, let me see, where can I get, where did I get this, okay. Yeah, I showed you this before. Function perimeter struct fields that can declare any type, okay, any type, right. And then we do, we're gonna cover these two. These are built-ins right here, right. Built-in uh, built functions, you know, they do certain things, right. We'll, call, we'll cover them uh, later on. But just understand that this the syntax instead of being snake case, it's going to be in a camel case too, right? All right, so type of t, right? So we can just do it again like we're used to it, and we don't have to click. We don't have to declare the uh, the type b. Okay, so let's do this again. Let me clear this out so it's easy on the eyes. All right, blah, blah, blah. Oh, because I didn't take this U32 out. Okay. Oh. So type of A. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's basically generics there for you. Uh, you can use this in the struct as well. I just wanted to show you this um, so you can operate on, you know, generic functions. All right? Thank you.